Hi, welcome to part one of this bootcamp on blockchain and smart contracts. So in this part, we're going to set up a private Ethereum blockchain called BigChain. So let's get started. We're going to follow the steps uh, outlined on this repo called BigChain. Now, the first step is to create a folder for uh, BigChain. Now this uh, bootcamp assumes that you already have get installed. Uh, if you don't, you can install get by saying brew install Ethereum. Uh, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, so the next step is to create a Genesis file. So we'll say create a Genesis file here. Now in that Genesis file, we need to add the allocations so we'll allocate the uh, ethereum and the gas limits uh, in that big chain file like this this is a simple JSON file so the next step is to create a data directory so we'll create a data directory called big genesis and uh, that's our data directory created as you can see it's called big data dir then we'll create the uh, node using that big data dir so it's going to start up our ethereum node and this is our first node called big uh, big genesis um, and obviously it's the genesis, uh, genesis uh, node now we can observe the log of this big genesis log by opening a new tab and we can run tail dash f big uh, eth dot log that's where the logging is happening as you can tell from this log so we'll leave the log running and we'll open new tab and now we'll create a peer node so in order to create a peer node first we need to set a account uh, so we'll type personal dot new account in the first tab in the first console and we set a passphrase which is a demo passphrase but uh, you can select any passphrase that you like so this should create a new account on our big genesis uh, node and as you can tell it now has this and you can see from the log file that it has created a account so now that we have our account for the first node, we'll launch our uh, peer node and we'll call it small genesis. Um, so the only difference is that we'll have a different data dir for this uh, second node and in order to do that what we'll do is create a um, data folder called small data dir so that's what is happening in this step here so let me open a new tab in terminal and run that actually let me just quickly check if there's already a small data dir folder um, yeah, so it doesn't seem like there is, but uh, I'm going to create a small data dir. So that's created a small data dir now, as you can tell. And the next step is to check. Uh, actually, we have to launch the small uh, beer on a different port number. So we'll select 30304 as our port number for the small um, 
node and so we run get with the data directory pointed at small data dir and it started a node um, here as you can tell from the console and we can actually open a new tab and check the logs for the small ETH log so while we're waiting for this to open I can say tail dash f small ETH log now the next step is to go to the first console and check the enode value of the first node so if we go to our console of the first node which is the first tab here and I type admin dot node info dot enode we get the node value or the node uh, address and that's the address of the first node now we go to the second console and we point uh, the second node to communicate with the first node so we go to the second tab or the fourth tab here actually it's on the third tab where I have the small node running and I can say uh, admin dot add peer now I need the ID and the address for the big node so I can just copy that value here uh, and I actually need the quotation marks so let me copy the quotation marks here so it's on here and I add the e node value and close parentheses and now it's added now if you look at the logs of this node uh, we can probably see the so in order to get the two nodes to communicate we can as well check the um, value uh, by looking at the peers on the second node so if I go to this third tab and I say admin dot peers I can see that the remote address is 30303 and the same uh, remote is the local address for the first big node which is 30303 and the remote address is 34507 and for the small node we have remote address 30303 which is the local address of the first node so that's it for this tutorial um, we'll continue in the next part thanks for joining bye